Hello, welcome back. I found another game that I think might be worth casting. It's Dark Noob against Dracont, and it is Aztecs for Dark Noob again, playing in yellow. And Dracont this time Berberus. And I'm pretty sure we do are not going to see a tower rush here. Three farms, probably not. And we have on the map main gold on the side for Dark Noob. No back base, not too good. Second stone outside, second gold outside. Third gold, I guess that's his, pretty far forward actually, players are rather close, one relic close there to his base, second relic actually close, extra gold here, extra gold here, well the back base that is missing is uh, getting compensated a little bit at least, and another relic close to his base as well, the main stone is forwardish on that corner here, the gate, I'm not sure is that blocked, I think he can go out there, but he has opened the walls to get deer in, and is on the way to feudal age, Aztecs going on 20 six population. Let's check for Dracon with the main stone safe in the back. He's on stone but not for tower rush going with 28 pop. Luring his deer in. I guess there were somewhere in the back. Second and third gold safe in the back. This is awesome for him. We have the main gold forwardish and the second stone forward outside at the same side. So we might see a pretty aggressive game by both players or defensive castle for Dracon to go for some camel archers and then try to defend against monks, eagles. Not sure about it. We're going to find out. Dark Noob, Market Blacksmith no surprise. And two villages on gold for now, sending villages to wood. Not to gold yet. So uh, the gold village count may be a tell sign what's going to happen. The Eagle Scout is waiting in feudal age, does not want to go out. And the Berber Scout is faster, is it cheaper? I'm not sure about it. Horse color coming in and castle age for Dark Noob on the way. Okay. Dracond did a double bit axe already and is going to cast H as well. Market likes with two houses on those walls, so he is preparing for a defensive game. Five villages on stone. I think he will be fine with the castle and then maybe uh, two extra TCs or one for the starters. So we're waiting for Dark Noob to go up there and then we're going to find out what the plan is. Spearman actually getting produced, but Dark Noob is not doing, uh, sorry, Dracond is not doing any scouts or light calf and maybe just against Camel Arches, that's possible actually good hits only nine HP left on that scout one more no and we have dark noob up to castle eight with double monastery coming up more eagles no he's not going for eagle warriors both are on the way and he sold the stone so he's not going for any economy once again he's trying to go aggressive here we have Dracon with an extra TC coming up on the wood line and he's probably going to put that uh, castle somewhere in front of the main goal. It makes a lot of sense. Dark Noob does not have a siege workshop to attack that with the Manganel. He's only getting that siege workshop now. Prefer to go for the monks first. It makes sense, I guess. If he was going for a few eagles, maybe he could have gone siege workshop first, but he didn't know about the main goal. Or maybe he... Did he see it? I guess he didn't see it in Dark Age. But castle is up and Dark Noob uh, doesn't really need to go for any Manganels. Now he's going for a batting ram immediately. Dracont is house walling here. He could finish his double wall actually. And two TCs for now. Three TCs if, can, if he can afford it. But we're going to see Camel Archer production starting with Fletching done. A second mining camp on that main gold. And Dark Noob, of course, trying to go in using the ram on those walls. Dracon starting to wall here with one villager. He might be too slow, actually. That wall is going down fast. And there is a Manganel now. University on the walls as well. But Dark Noob should be able to go in. Dracon finally sending more villagers. This might get close, but I think he's going to be quick enough with three wills now. Yeah, that's fine. He is in. And there's only three monks to try and convert those villagers. 50 HP, so Sanctity is done. But there are new stone walls on the map inside Dracon space and universities are both kind of on the way I guess for ballistics the university it would make sense and there's the camel arches moving forward one monk down two monks no but Dracon moving back to oh he's dropping the camel arches through the wall to avoid the mangonel shots ballistics are now coming up the Dragnob doing further stone mining actually and that means he must be on stone somewhere where's the main stone yeah he probably wants to get a castle up soon let's find out about the stone count none whatsoever at this point but the market went down with the manganels and now Dark Noob will be able to go in. Then again, there is the Camel Archers trying to snipe things. The Eagle Warrior went down. And of course, Recon is on more villages. He's on plus 50% actually. He's 19 villages ahead. And Doing Loom now also bloodlines for those Camel Archers. 
Sending villagers back from the gold, I guess. Where is he going? He should uh, go for the back here. Arch range and stable, so we might see Thumbring soon, if it wasn't researched already. And Dark Noob is close to clicking up to Imperial Age here. Yeah, coming up, 27.34 is a nice time. Bilbrow husbandry on the way from Procon now as well. Where is the Camelot? Just still around the castle, while Dark Noob is trying to do some damage here. Attacking the main TC, it's actually losing HP really fast, and that means Recon himself needs to invest a lot of wood. You can see the wood count uh, going down. Wheelbarrow should get finished, but Recon is nowhere close to getting up to Imperial Age. And there is the Camel Archers hitting one ram and taking it down actually against four Manganels. He can't really do a lot even with that amount of Camel Archers. But the ram doesn't do any more damage and Recon is still repairing here. Look at this, he's got a lot of gold in the bank. Doing thumb ring now and those Camel Archers are going to get stronger and stronger. Almost fully upgraded except for the defensive upgrades. And I guess he doesn't really need them. Against the Manganels it doesn't make a lot of difference and the monks, yeah, you really don't want to have defensive upgrades here. Now Camel Arch is trying to move in, attack round shot. Ooh, nice shot here. Dark Noob is up to Imperial Age. Where's the castle for him? Does he have a castle up? Three more Manganels, but not enough stone for a castle yet. That means he still needs to rely, uh, rely on or depend on those Manganels. And that's two Manganels, uh, two singles going down really fast. He needed to group them, he wasn't able to. And the monks are gonna try and uh, protect those Manganels at least a little bit. Yeah, one Camel Arch finally got converted. Block printing down. 12 H, uh, 12 range on the monks, but uh, Procon seems to feel quite comfortably because Dark Nook cannot really move forward. The Camel Archers are always waiting, and that was a beautiful snipe here. But he, oh, he lost quite a good amount of Camel Archers here, so maybe not the best trade ever. We have 67 against 37 villagers, now 68, close to the magic number. Uh, I think, I guess, Mem was the first to make that popular. And the Camel Archers again, moving in, two conversions, but also one Monk going down. And there is two more Manganels, ooh, Dracon is not paying attention, but taking down all the Monks here, or almost, no two more conversions here. And suddenly 18 against 9 military units, so looking good for Dracon, uh, sorry for Dark Noob at this point. Dracon still in the score lead, and he's now putting up stables housed on 80. That's not good. Oh, he lost the castle. Where is There's the castle is the trebuchets. I was wondering about that. I missed it. But it makes sense to attack that castle to go for your castle of your own. And uh, sorry for that. I missed that one. Uh, mm, that was the reason for Dracon getting housed here. And now Dark Noob is sitting comfortably uh, on that main gold. The three ramps won't really do a lot. There's enough Manganels. But now Lightcalf moving in and Camel Arch is behind that. The monks cannot convert that fast. Dark Noob did not pay attention and he's gonna lose all the Manganels here. The Camel Arch is moving forward and suddenly Dracon in the military population lead. Trebuchets need to go back. The monks are moving forward again but it's a mistake. And now I think Dracon might try and go for more ramps here. If he can afford it, he's gonna look forward in the bank, sold some of that wood, bought 200 food, but he cannot attack that castle yet, and I think he will not go up to Imperial Age so fast, he doesn't really need to, he's mm, chopping off that wood that blocks his gold, makes sense, and he's got 16 against 8 military units, so he's fine at that point. In the back, going for more farms, he's done loom some time before and that wolf won't really do any harm, and we have a little bit of a ceasefire where Dark Noob is probably thinking, okay, what am I going to do? I think he needs to go, yes, Pikeman, at least that, maybe even Elite Skirmishers, but that's really not what we want to do against the Light Calf. Pikeman monks, and then possibly Onager? It's really not good against Camel Archers, even Onagers are really not that strong. Not sure what to do here, actually, with the Aztecs. Maybe try to go for Elite Eagle Warriors and finally switch to Economy. There is a second TC, 30 TC coming up as well. Or is it number 4? No, I guess it's 3 TCs, but 49 villages is really not a lot, and I think he needed to go earlier. That castle is one that I don't really like, because it's, it's covering the main gold on second stone, okay. But what is it actually doing? He can't really attack here, and maybe he should have delayed that a little bit. Dracont looking really, really low on resources, but that means he's investing a lot. He's doing archery ranges now, and we might even see the janitors here. It's light cave mostly, but uh, janitors possibly, iron casting on the way, and now even a monastery to grab some relics, which uh, Dark Noob didn't really do apparently. Yeah, one scout going down to the pikeman here, but what else? There's not a lot happening. Outside, Dracont is going to take the extra gold, and finally Dark Noob is moving forward a little bit. 34 against 24 military units, and the villager difference, of course, still huge. 50 villagers, almost 46 actually. Handcard on the way for Dracond, he lost the TC here, but it's not the biggest problem ever. Dracond 
then again, is housed on 135. He needs to put up more houses. He's got a lot of space here to put houses if he wants to. Or on the outside, which he's doing right now. I think Dark Noob doesn't know about the villages outside. And Dark Noob making progress, at least a little bit. Using the trebuchets to take down all the buildings. The mangonels and the monks are not easy to get attacked. And Dracon doing heresy, which is a really interesting upgrade, I think, with that. And the possibility to take down mangonels with the light cap. He will go in and do a lot of damage here. Heresy is a brilliant idea instead of Imperial Age. I think it's a lot better to go for that and now I want to see the big fight with a lot of light care 49 military units there's too many pikemen at the front need your camera artists to help out there the mangonels are taking the good line but it's not the biggest problem the villagers could even engage here if the front wants to go for that and our light care are actually uh, taking the pikemen one-on-one -on -one or <laughs> a lot on a little bit of uh, people here uh, of warriors here and now Dark Noob is not really looking good. He's sending the monks into the castle, but he lost most of his army. And look at that. Drakont has so many military units at this point that he pretty much can raid all he wants now. Could go for that gold. He's not gonna. And I think Drakont might now go for some... Uh, uh, some... Like in 2-3 minutes, uh, go to Imperial Age and try to take down the castles with trebuchets. Squires forging hand cards, 76 villages finally for, Dr uh, for Dark Noob looking uh, to be in a decent spot at least when it comes to economy but recorded a lot better at this point and uh, looks like he found a way to defend from those Aztecs rushes he had a decent map, he had a pretty good map actually and that castle at the front was helping out a lot it's a beautiful patrol here, they're not doing a lot those units but you need to have one or two ceasefires in such a game. You cannot have action all the time. The monks from Dark Noob actually finding out about those villagers and Dark Noob is sending pikemen. Problem is Dark Noob, he's got Eagle Warriors, not Elite 3 plus 4. At least Garland Wars coming in. Interesting. Eagle Warriors might be a game changer here, but only if he can mass enough. And look at this. Dark Noob is housed on 140, but we have 165 population for Dracon and he's moving in. 3, 4, 5 ramps. There's only one Manganel that will go down fast. The light Cover actually, light cover actually dying rather quick here, but they're trying to engage the monks and now that castle cannot get repaired. There's too many rams and that's minus one castle. Dracon is staying in castle age here, trying to win it there on. We have a few quick walls coming up for Dark Noob. He's got a little bit of stone left, not that much, and he doesn't really have a lot of military units. It's 15 plus for Dracon, but it looks a lot more. Where are those other military units? There's a few pikemen and monks on the right hand side doing little damage, but not really a lot. Nothing that uh, Dark uh, Dracon cannot afford here. Dracon is still taking gold inside the space, finally moving back to the main gold. I think if he could, he would put up a castle here. I guess he doesn't have the resources. No, not at all. But he might still think about Imperial Age. He is saving up some resources, selling wood, and now only waiting seconds before clicking up to him. I'm pretty sure about that. Makes a lot of sense. Here we go. 52 minutes to arrive at Imperial Age. And Dark Noob now, same villager number. He must have killed quite a few villagers on the outside, but he still seems to be behind. That's 60 against 45, a lot of rams. And imagine those gonna be cap rams, rams any time after Rakont hits Imperial Age. And then how do you stop that? You have a lot of melee units, but it's mostly pikemen here. 12 attack is a lot, but the bonus that Halberdiers get, I think, is still better. Now Rakont is moving out of villagers. What is he going to do? Where is he moving? Uh, is he going with another mining camp on those extra golds? I guess so. He wants to take them as long as he can. And village account wise, he can afford it still. I'm waiting for Imperial Age. Dark Noob is trying to fix his economy, I guess, or get that better. He's on stone, he's on gold. But what's the plan here? Do we have Elite Eagle Warriors? Yes. Fully upgraded Elite Aztecs, Elite Eagle Warriors. 17 attack, they are strong. I don't really see a lot of them. Let's find out. Dark Noob. I see five here. It's going to be a little bit more. 75 HP monks. Okay, that's not bad. But we're going doing Cavalier, doing Blast Furnace, and I hope we're going to see Cap Ram here. Yet, why not? Mr. Kant waiting for us. Got the resources, chemistry on the way first. And now Dark Noob realizing, okay, I might need to strike early because otherwise I might run into trouble. There's the cap ram upgrade, no bracer yet, but you have so many upgrades to do. You have such a big army here in Dracon's um, point or Dracon's uh, base that you can't afford to wait. Honor on the way for Dark Noob, it's not gonna help a lot because there's too many soon to be cavalier. And now the cap rams, I think should start and move forward. 
try to take down those pikemen with the caramel archers. That's the only problem. Pikemen are still going to be strong. Arson on the way. Chemistry is soon to be finished. Brayson now coming up for those caramel archers. Tracont is taking his time. Losing more villagers uh, against from um, by the Elite Eagle Warrior raids. And he's only on 76 now, but I think he wants to finish the game with that army that he has with 88 military units against mostly pikemen. 72 military units, but it's almost only pikemen. And that means Kant should even be able to f uh, win that battle with only the cavalier, as long as the monks aren't interfering. And the camel archers uh, in the back could try and take care of the monks. The most important fact, though, is that Kant has heresy. 55 minutes in the cap, I'm still behind. But look at those Cavalier. 12 plus 4 attack, 2 plus 2 defense. Uh, that's not fully upgraded. Play parting armor on the way. But they're taking down everything, and I think this might be the GG. 22 military units left. A few elite eagle warriors on the right hand side. A castle now on an extra gold to count. Uh, cannot take this any longer. And the eagle warriors will try to raid, but there is, n there is one opening. This could be interesting, but I think Trakont is a lot faster here. Trebuchet's cap ramps, and that castle is getting repaired. Honor just behind is good, but he cannot do anything against those traps. Mining camps coming up from Trakont as well. Ring archer armor on the way. Not elite camel archers yet cannot afford it, but he doesn't really need that at this point. Dark Noob has a lot of resources, uh, compared to Trakant at least, but doesn't have the military units that he needs. The Elite Eagle War is moving in, but they're running into Cavalier. There's a cast in the back, there's TCs all around, and I think he might be able to kill a few villagers, but definitely not enough. And look at the amount of cap rams for Trakant. That's a dozen cap rams almost. Yeah, 11 of them. And that castle is now getting attacked by trebuchets. The barracks will go down, and Dark Noob is not able to get up a decent um, army composition and a decent number of military units. Uh, what can you do? Siege on chest is a very strong unit, but you don't have the economy for that. The pikemen are fully upgraded. Champions is not really an option. Elite Eagle Warriors and Monks make sense, but it feels like Trakant has such a superior army here that the Aztecs cannot just uh, can't uh, keep up with that, and you need the numbers advantage in Dark Noob's point. That's not happening. 59 minutes into the game, the castle is going down, and the Cavalier, Cap Rams, Camel Archers are all moving in. Not so many Elite Eagle Warriors left here. Um, minor fights on the right hand side, it doesn't matter at all now, because the Cavalier are going into the main base. I think we might see the GG soon. It looks like Recont, uh, ahead of score by 2k, 7 points, something like that, is gonna go through those walls, through the buildings, uh, like through butter. And then uh, Dark Noob did try his best, I guess, but again, didn't find a way to win Aztecs against Recont. And we have, that's game number 3 with Dark Noob's Aztecs, I think. At least as far as I know, maybe I missed a few, that's possible. And I think he didn't win any of these games, which is surprising to me. But Prakant, of course, a lot better here. You can see it in the rating. That's a 200 ELO point difference. And on Wubli on that level, that's a lot. You know that. So Prakant actually showing that he can win uh, against Aztecs, against what is considered the best civilization on the arena, or at least one of the best. And with not any civilizations, uh, but with the decent civilizations, I guess. And I hope to see more of those. Maybe I can catch a few more. If you know about more games between Dark Noob and the Cont, where Dark Noob has Aztecs, show them. would like to see them. Castle coming up here, but it doesn't really matter. Let's go and uh, speed up a little bit. 90 should be good. That's now beautiful. All the military units moving in. The cap rims uh, at the front, plus the Cavalier. Camel Archers in the back, Light Cap in the mix, because you don't have so much gold left. And it looks like a soon to be Chi Chi, one hour and three minutes now, and main TC going down. There it is actually, Chi Chi being called by Dark Noob. Hope you enjoyed this game. A pretty interesting one, in my opinion, and see you in the next games. Chi Chi.